Sunset Comet, presented by Science at NASA. For a comet, visiting the sun is risky business. Fierce solar radiation vaporizes gases long frozen in the fragile nucleus, breaking up some comets and completely destroying others. That's why astronomers weren't sure what would happen in early March when comet PANSTARS, a first-time visitor to the inner solar system, dipped inside the orbit of Mercury. On March 10th, NASA's Stereo B spacecraft watched as the comet made its closest approach to the Sun only 28 million miles away. At that distance, the Sun loomed three times wider and felt more than ten times hotter than it does on Earth. This just in, the comet survived. Still intact, Comet PANSTARS is emerging from the Sun's glare into the sunset skies of the Northern Hemisphere. Solar heating has caused the comet to glow like a star of second magnitude, as bright as the stars of the Big Dipper. Bright twilight reduces visibility, but it is still an easy target for binoculars and small telescopes one to two hours after sunset. Discovered in June 2011 by astronomers using the PANSTARS survey telescope atop the Haleakala volcano in Hawaii, the comet is paying its first visit to the inner solar system. It hails from the Oort cloud, a deep space reservoir of comets far beyond the orbit of Pluto. Because Comet PANSTARS is a newcomer, astronomers didn't know what to expect. Now they know. It is a gorgeous comet, one of the brightest in years, says astronomer Matthew Knight of the Lowell Observatory. Comet specialist Emmanuel Yehin of the European Southern Observatory has been monitoring Comet PANSTARS using a remote-controlled telescope in Chile. Based on his data, Knight concludes that Comet PANSTARS seems to be producing quite a bit of dust compared to an average comet. This is very good for its visibility, because the extra dust is reflecting sunlight and making Comet PANSTARS appear brighter than it would otherwise. The amount of dust and gas spewing from the comet implies a nucleus on the order of one kilometer in diameter. In other words, neither unusually large nor small. Size-wise, it is a fairly typical comet. The comet's tail is anything but typical. Stereo B images processed by Carl Battams of the Naval Research Lab in Washington, D.C. reveal many wild and ragged striations in the cloud of dust trailing behind comet PANSTARS. Wow, says Battams. The fine structure is breathtaking. We're not sure what causes this. Possibilities include irregular outgassing in the comet's core, fragmentation events, and interactions with the gusty solar wind. The comet is now receding from Earth. It will slowly dim as it heads back into deep space. Ironically, though, its visibility will improve for a while as it heads into darker skies away from the sun. It might even become a naked eye object in the closing weeks of March. Step outside after sunset, face west, and take a look. For more news about comets and their risky behavior, visit science.nasa.gov.